Country Channel. My Streets Music Documentary Channel Hold up Only rapper to rewrite history without a pen No ID on the track, let the story begin Begin the Nigerian music industry has come of age and the hustle for survival of artists has never been an easy task. But the Nigerian female musicians have had more obstacles in their pursuit to stand out amongst their male counterparts due to cultural norms and the views of female gender in the Nigerian environment. Despite the stumbling blocks, the country has celebrated great musicians such as Comfort Omoge, Eviet Naogoli, Stella Monye, Christia Tenibokwe, Tina Onwudiwe, Batila Alake, Onye Kaonwenu, to mention a few. These acts have defied the odds and fought to get noticed for their various genres of music such as Waka, Pop, R&B and Reggae. Standing tall amongst these huge icons is a lady who dared to venture into a more masculine genre which was Hip Hop. Where them two hails from Ogun State home to stars like Sound Sultan, Da Green and Deep has stood her ground for almost two decades as a rapper competing with the men in a genre where only a few took to in Nigeria. It's time to show the beautiful people how we get them. It's time to show the beautiful people how we get them. Ichoya. Watch and discover as we dissect the street true story of the first female MC in Nigeria, Weird MC, the Weird One. Ichoya. 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 Yes, it's me, the word MC, the Rapidity MC. I'm an artist, songwriter, aspiring entrepreneur, a celebrity for a safety marshal, um, a goodwill ambassador. This is my street. My true story. Streets. My Streets Music Documentary Channel. Red MC born Adeshola Adeshimbo Idowu hails from Ogun State and was born in England but raised in Lagos to conservative parents where music was a no-go area. It's time to show the beautiful people how we get down. It's time to show the beautiful people how we get down. Ijoya. Ha. Ijoya. I was born in the United Kingdom, uh, partly raised in the United Kingdom and partly raised in Nigeria. My parents brought me back to Nigeria when I was like seven, eight years old. I guess my father wanted me to, to experience that African culture, which I, I would always be thankful to him for. I'm, I'm so, so grateful that my parents brought me back home. I was playing basketball, I was playing football, and I was doing music as well. But it got to a point I knew I had to like hone in and just you know center my focus on, on one. I really, really wanted to do like pro football or pro basketball because I started playing around the circuits, you know, Shobulu Koshafe and the other places. But I kind of figured that the it's like the country or the continent even as a whole wasn't really ready for female basketball or female football per se so I channel my energy you know to entertainment music uh, I remember growing up watching programs on the channel 5 amazing um, just watching people like Johnny Jackson, Michael Jackson, um, Curtis Blow, um, Kool Mo D so I was really like I was in awe of what they do especially seeing Salt and Pepper you know films on stage rapping and just ripping this, you know, controlling the audience. That that was like really, that was like so appealing to me. I didn't want to pursue the course my father wanted me to pursue. He wanted me to be a lawyer. But I knew deep down inside me, I didn't want to be a lawyer. It, it was a constant, it was like the battle was drawn between me and my father. Um, he kept on holding, he kept on going on about how he wanted me to be a lawyer. And I kept like dropping hints that 
I, I didn't want to pursue this, but I, I guess you know, being raised in an African environment, you have to like you know um, listen to your parents. So I I listened to him. I I, I kind of figured, okay, I'll let him have his way. So I went to the state university, but after like two years, you know, I, I really, really actually enjoyed the course, but I knew even if I followed through, I wasn't going to practice. So what's the point in me getting that law degree? So like I said, we went back to England and I enrolled uh, in a course, a music, a music technology course. That was more appealing to me, that was more fulfilling. While in school, she made friends with four other girls who had the same love and passion for music and they formed the hip-hop group known as Weathers. Despite the popularity of the female group on the campus circuit, they still couldn't snag a record deal and this caused the group to split up. There was this uh, very, very popular talent hunt uh, in the United Kingdom then in Hackney, East London, called the Club to Now One Contest. It was almost like, um, it was referred to as a, as a British version of the American Apollo. If you can win over an American Apollo audience, you're set. So in the same vein, if you can win over a Club 291 audience in London, you're set to go. I was very, very nervous. I was very, very afraid. I didn't know what to expect. But the person who recommended me, the person who um, encouraged me to put myself forward, she had so much faith in me. So I was thinking, hmm, I can't let her down, you know. So I went in there, did the first round and the, the feedback was, was crazy and I was like, oh, okay, I can do this. So I kept pushing on and on and on and on. We, we were scaled down to like the final 20. You know, I would see contestants, you know, crying in the dressing room and I was thinking, ah, what am I doing here? But I kept going, I kept going, I kept pushing, I kept pushing. Um, I, came, I came third. But it was something major for me because it was a national TV and then it was a very, very, very tough audience to crack. I'm telling you, you're on stage for a couple of seconds, if you don't connect, somebody comes with like um like a rubber like kind of baseball bat and then it ushers you up. It's it's horrible, it's terrible. So for me to like come third, I was like wow. <laughs> It is my belief that Where MC is Nigeria's first rapper. I could be wrong. I think she was one of the first female MCs to step up in the mic and kick something, and everybody was like, okay, yeah, that's that right there. You know, Where MC is my auntie. If I can't, I would double like now. You know, Where MC, I think, what's bigger than a legend, an idol? Yeah, she goes way back. Her debut album, Simply Weird, which was released in 1997, is rumored to be the first hip-hop album released in Nigeria. We were pushing our singles in the UK and we had already signed, had already signed a licensing deal back, you know, back here in Nigeria. So the moment I kind of figured out, hey, it's ready for, people are ready to like consume, I came back home, we started pushing, we shot the video for Island Avenue and then we just started pushing. Then we pushed out the very, very first album that I recorded, Simply Weird stuff. But it worked, it, it worked, it worked wonders. We were surprised. You know, in a couple of months we were doing major shows, I'm telling you. Um, and to really, really show that, that I come of age, I got the very, very first Hip Hop Music Award in the country because I released that album. So to me, it was, it was worth doing. Coming up after the break. I think that kind of discouraged me to a very, very large extent. So I went back, you know, to the UK. My Streets Music Documentary Channel. No more games, I'll go straight, I'll go name names. My Streets Music Documentary Channel.